My daughter was born with a very rare syndrome, Jarco Levens. My daughter is dependent upon a ventilator. Someone has to be with her at all times. I have the, one of the most phenomenal wives in the world. My wife, days and nights are, are very challenging. Breathing treatments, medications, but she handles it all with the biggest smile. Okay, what you think? Now we've had to give extra treat. Time out. Dr. Lewis didn't like the way she sounded and said that she sounded a little wheezy and that her lungs were kind of gunky. Deontz actually sees about 13 different specialties here at Texas Children's Hospital. We are frequent flyers of the hospital. I've always wanted to express my appreciation and love in so many different forms. And so, We've been planning this surprise for Desi, but has no idea of the surprise that she's about to receive. Are you Desiree Bradley? Yes. I have a special little message that we'd like to play for you. I'm Marie Osmond. We have arranged a very special, well, something for you. And all you need to know is that you need to be ready at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and it will be a day that you will <laughs> never forget. I'm totally <laughs> surprised. Oh my God. Are you ready? Yeah. You are at the Trella Spa, wow. and you're being treated to a day of pampering. See you later, Mom. <laughs> I don't think I've been by myself in eight years. This feels really good. Wow. I tell you, I feel beautiful for the first time in a long time. Oh, wow, honey. Everyone turned around and said, step back out. We have another surprise for you. And I'm like, it can get better. Oh, wow, all this is for me? Oh, my goodness. When Deontz was born, we were told to prepare for a funeral. They were like, you know, looking at her x-ray, she looks like she's got Jarco 11. It's very rare. You really need to consider pulling support on her. But we didn't do that. And it almost it ignited kind of like an advocacy monster in me, if I want to say, be honest. I was like, you know what? She's fighting. I'm going to fight right along with her. You know what? When I was sitting out there, I was thinking about my champion moms. I was thinking about the couple days that we spent together with our kids and their struggles and strengths. And I was sitting there like, oh my God, I wish I could have all of them here with me. We could just sit out here together. I can pick up my phone and text one of my sisters and say, hey, I have had the day from hell. And they'll pick me up and say, you know what? It's gonna be okay. All of us have a different journey different journey, but it's that common bond that we all have that I don't think I'd ever find that anywhere else. <laughs>